let's start with some standing moves. So you're just going to roll the fit ball over to your left with your left hand. You're going to reach your right hand up and then you're going to roll it over to your right and reach the left hand up. So you're just using it and rolling it, bringing your hands onto that fit ball and then rolling it away and breathing for three, two, and stay on this side. We're going to roll it in and roll it out, rolling it in, rolling it out, feeling that nice stretch in those inner thighs and those legs and you're breathing and you're reaching that hand up for five, four, three, you're rolling it all the way down, all the way up for five, four, so you're reaching that left hand away and three, two, and one, roll it over to the other side. And let's do the same on the other side, rolling it in, rolling it out. It's coming up to high, standing up tall, coming back in. It just makes it more fun when you're rolling a ball than if you were just doing these moves without a ball. It just makes it more fun. It just makes it more fun when you're rolling a ball around and you're breathing for five. three, two, and one. Bring it back in. You're going to sit on the ball now. So you're going to bring the ball underneath you, a nice wide position. Have a little bounce, that always feels good. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to reach the hands up to either side of the room. Breathe and breathe that lift up and out of the waist and rotate round. So the ball just gives really nice feedback, ensuring that you're keeping your lower body nice and still in space so that you can really mobilize the upper part of your spine no swinging just rotation of the spine trying to push the crown of your head up to the ceiling let's keep rotating for three and breathing and lifting growing taller two and one love let's go into some side bends so we're going to reach up and over and then come back in breathe in breathe out reach up and over and then come back in so just nice ways to just get in some good spinal mobilization sitting on the ball nice and comfy still keeping that awareness in the lower body as you sit on this ball for three and up and over two and come around and hold we're gonna reach the hand forward and then come back up so sweeping the hand on the floor and come back out now you might want to have a little roll back with your body as you sweep the hand or whatever feels comfortable sweeping with that left hand in one direction I like follows with that hand for three two lovely and one swap sides reach up and over and then sweeping up and over really getting a nice bit of mobilization not just in the spine but also in that right scapula in those shoulder blades and you're breathing and reaching for three two and one lovely so we're going to do we're going to stay up nice and tall we're going to bring in some side reaches so you're going to breathe in on the breath out you're going to push into that left foot send it away and reach that hand away and then bring it back in breathe in breathe out reaching that hand away and then come back in quite similar to the work we do standing but you're sitting on a very comfy fit ball and you're reaching and you're breathing. Find that opposition between the hand reaching away and the foot on the floor. And reach it away for five and four. Breathing for three, two, 
and one, bring it back in. We're gonna bring the feet a bit closer together. And now I'm gonna swivel around so you can see how things look from the side. Your feet are now a bit narrower, they're about hip distance apart. You're gonna sit up nice and tall and you're just gonna roll back and then come back in. So just be really mindful of your balance. If you need to walk your feet a little bit further forwards, then do so. Really make sure you're standing into your feet. You breathe in, you tuck your tailbone under and you roll back, you push your knees forward and then you come back up. Make sure everything feels all right. You're gonna set up really nice and tall. You're gonna breathe in and you're gonna roll down so that your body is in line with your knees. Breathe in, breathe out, come back up. So just make sure you're in the right position for the ball, that you feel that everything is stable and you're breathing. Let's do three more roll downs and then we're gonna bring the arms in if everything feels all right. If anything feels wrong, then reset or come off the ball if it doesn't feel right for two. Lovely, and then all the way down. I want you to stay down. I want you to reach your hands out to either side of the room. I want you, if it feels okay, and only if it feels all right, I want you to just bring your hands behind you. If that doesn't feel all right, then reset and come back up. So now I'm lying on the ball. My hands are reaching, my stomach is still engaged. Just want to sweep my right hand in a big circle around and then bring it back down. Left hand reaches up and around in a big circle. Let's do one more on each side. Nice big circles. Bring the hands down. I just open the hands out a bit wider. Now, if it feels all right, you're just gonna do a little rock, pushing through those heels, sending the ball away just a tiny bit. Just enjoy that stretch into your spine. Breathing for five, four, Three, really nice way to get that extension. Two, and one. Breathe in, arms reach overhead. Breathe out, come all the way up. Breathe in, breathe out, come all the way down. Rounding forward, putting a belly button away, flexing through your spine, and breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna breathe out, really stack up through the spine and nice and carefully. You're gonna come now onto the floor. You're gonna sit up nice and tall with the ball really close to the back of your body. We're just gonna continue mobilizing the shoulders and mobilizing the spine. So bring your bum as close to the ball as is comfortable. You can always adjust if it doesn't feel right. To begin with, we're gonna reach both arms up and over. You're gonna breathe in, hands are gonna float to shoulder height. You're gonna breathe out, you're gonna reach up and over and circle all the way around and then come back up. So stay reaching up and over with the arms. Let your head rest and do a nice big circle from the top of your arms. Now, if you'd rather stay down with your head or maybe if you wanna put a cushion or a little pad beneath your head, then do that. Just do whatever feels good for you, circling around. Just again, just mobilizing the shoulders and the upper part of your spine. Let's do two more for two. Last one. And then let's reverse the direction for the arm circles. Breathe in, breathe that up and over, come back in. I don't know why this way never feels quite as good, but let's make sure you do both ways just so you can get that mobility into your shoulder guard or in both directions. Still feels good though, just maybe not quite as good as the other way around. Still breathing, circling around. Feel that tactile feedback of the shoulder blades, the scapula on the ball. Let's do two more until you stay. Leaning back, roll back on that ball. Two really big circles. And all the way back and hold and just reaching your arms away. You're going to leave your left arm still in space. You're just going to bring your right hand down and then you're going to swap hands. So again, just mobilizing the shoulders, but also you might notice you're getting a little bit of core work in as well. And you're breathing for five 
and four, three, two, and one. Come back in, sit up really nice and tall. Fingertips together, elbows nice and wide. You're gonna drive those elbows back into the ball and then come back out. So with this movement, I want you to really feel this movement is initiated from your elbows driving into the ball. So you're almost trying to forget about your hands. You're not moving from your hands, you're moving from the elbows. You breathe and you breathe out so the stomach pulls in so you don't push your chest forward. So your spine stays relatively neutral. You're not going into some kind of extension or a push forward of the chest. Just opening out and you're breathing for five, Driving those elbows towards the ball, four. Eye line stays straight ahead. That's gonna be an indicator of where your spine is, your cervical spine is in space, the neck part of your spine, three. So keep it straight ahead, you try not to lift it up and down. And two, and out and hold and reach your hands back and then come back down to the ball and just breathe for five, four, three, two, and one, fantastic. You're going to carefully turn around and you're going to come onto all fours. So in this all fours position, you're just going to grab the ball now in front of you. We're just going to do some rolling of the ball. You're going to bring it in, breathe in, and then just breathe out. Rolling forward, but keep your lower body quite still in space. So your lower body's not chasing it. You're going into a nice reach and then you're rolling coming back tall. You breathe in, you roll forward, you push your hips back and you have a nice mobilization, another nice stretch again through your shoulders and your spine and you're rolling forward, pulling your belly button back. A little bit like a puppy pose in terms of the hips are above the knees, they're not hinging forwards, they're pulling back and one. New position, we're gonna bring your left foot forward this time. We're gonna do some hip flexor stretches, rolling the ball forward and back. So really engaging into that right side, squeezing that butt cheek, rolling forward. Your eye line still travels forward. It doesn't start looking down. You're just using that ball for support and you're breathing. Stretching out now those hip flexors, using the ball for that sort of side. So roll the ball to your left, bring your right foot forward, and let's do those hip flexor stretches now on your left side. So squeezing that left butt cheek, staying up nice and tall, breathing in, roll the ball forward, and then slowly come back out. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll it forward. Eye line staying at straight ahead. For three. There's so many ways you can use this ball, whether you're sitting on it or just rolling it, to mobilize the whole of your body. I hope you enjoy this. You're gonna feel so good after this. Last one. Bring it back in. How are you doing? Let's turn around, let's keep the right leg out. Go into a little bit more hip mobility. This time we're gonna roll the ball to the left and then come back in. Foot five. And four. And three. Two. And one, and then come back in. Let's swap sides. So on the right knee this time, and then we're just gonna roll the ball out to the right, and come back in. So now a nice stretch across the left leg, a nice stretch across the left shoulder as the arm reaches back. Some good engagement in the right hip flexor and some right glute work. Two and one. Okay, guys, you are finished. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good, really mobile, and I hope you are too. 
Day five is tomorrow, back to the full body. I hope you're enjoying these different ways that you can use your football. Have a lovely rest of your day. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope you're feeling really good after today's session. If you want to access the full five-day football challenge, then do download my app. To download my app, you just click on the link that's coming up now and at the end of this video, and then you'll have access to loads of content, not just workout challenges, but also some gorgeous mobility moves as well, just like you did today. And those mobility moves can be both with and without equipment. So if you want to try it out, you get a seven day free trial period. And if it's not for you, you can cancel at any time. No questions asked, but hopefully you'll really enjoy it. We can go on this fitness journey together. Take care. See you soon.